All right, so I want to introduce you to managing computers in Active Directory using my favorite tool, PowerShell. So we'll be using most of the 80 computer commandlets out of the Active Directory module. And so to get started, let's create a computer. So uh, to create a new computer inside of Active Directory, uh, besides joining them, the other way is to use the new 80 computer commandlet. So you can see here, line 12, I'm creating a new 80 computer called Summit. And it's that simple to create a computer. And then to retrieve that computer and to get its properties, we use the get 80 computer commandlet and specify the name that we want. And so you can see that I've got a computer called Summit inside of the computer's container. But the cool thing about new 80 computer is that we can specify more than just the name of the computer if we want. There's a whole host of properties we can set. Here's just an example. So you can see inside of my new comp splat, I'm giving it the name of a new computer and specifying the same account name, so giving it a custom one. So you can see that it's very similar to the name. I just wanted that period in there instead of a space. And then the path, I'm giving it a path, telling it that I want to put it inside of the supercomputers OU. And then, of course, setting enable to be true. So if I go ahead and run this command, we can use the git80 computer commandlet again to check that computer out, that this computer is inside of that special OU. And then the same account name, of course, is the custom same account name with the period in it. And so the third method I wanted to run through real quick is creating a computer from a template computer. So we've got a computer that has all the settings that we want already. We can copy those into a new computer. So you can see here, the computer I'm copying from is the computer we just created. And the properties I want to copy are in the properties parameter. So it's just a string array. So I'm copying the location, the operating system, the hotfix, service pack, and version of the operating system. And then I'm using the get 80 computer command to retrieve that computer and assign it to the template comp variable. So I'll go ahead and run that section. And then using the new 80 computer command, we specify that template computer using the instance parameter. So you can see I've got that there on line 34. And then give it the name of the new computer we want to create. And then we can verify that computer using the get 80 computer command. There we go. There's our brand new computer. So now we've created a computer. Let's say that we didn't use the path parameter of new 80 computer, and we want to move our computer to the correct OU. So here's the first computer I made, and let's see where it's at still. So we can see that it's still in the computer's container. And so to move it, we use the move 80 object commandlet, and that requires us to specify a distinguished name. So you can see inside of my splat, the identity parameter, I'm specifying the distinguished name of that computer using the get 80 computer commandlet. And then the target path is just the distinguished name of the OU that I want it moved into. So if I run this command, and then I can then validate it using that same git80 computer command from before. And we can see that it is now in the supercomputers OU, just like we want it. Cool, so there's some additional things we can do with the git80 computer commandlet. Now, if we want to list all of our computers, for instance, this is the syntax. We use the filter parameter and just specify an asterisk. So there's all of my computers in my Active Directory, and this is a demo environment, so there really is just five of them. <laughs> we can do some additional filtering. So that filter parameter takes a filter. So we can say the operating system like 2016, and that should return all computers running a Windows Server 2016. So we can see that there's just one of them. Or if we wanted to get all the computers that are disabled, well, here line 61, the filtering for enabled equals false. And so you can see that there aren't any disabled computers in my Active Directory. But besides filtering, we can also specify additional properties. So here line 65, the properties parameter, I'm passing it an asterisk. And this will, re will return all properties of the computer specified. And so we can see that a computer has quite a number of properties that we can look at with PowerShell. But if we wanted to return a specific property, like for instance, the IPv4 address, instead of listing out that whole thing, line 67, the properties parameter, I'm giving it a name of a property. So that returns the default properties plus the IPv4 address as well. And you can see here for this computer, it doesn't have an IPv4 address because we just created it. And then if we wanted to check out the group memberships, uh, we can do that as well. So first thing here, line 71, I'm going to add the Sierra supercomputer to the IT group. And then the property that contains the group memberships is the member of property. And that's an array, so you can see that I'm actually putting that command inside of a parentheses and looking at that property specifically. And so there we go. So that Sierra computer is only a member of the IT group. 
And so then if we want to get computers from a specific OU, we have the search base parameter, and this works in conjunction with the filter parameter. Um, all computers inside of the OU specified in search base. So we can see we've got two of them. And then to modify the properties of a computer, we use the set 80 computer commandlet. So for instance, if I wanted to set the summit computer to be disabled, I use the set 80 computer commandlet and specify the computer I want to set using the identity parameter and then setting the enabled parameter to false. So we'll go ahead and run that. And then if we use the get 80 computer commandlet, look at that same computer we can see that the enabled is now false. Or if we wanted to set multiple properties, because set 80 computer does have a lot of parameters that we can use. I've got a splat here, so the identity, so same computer from before. I'm setting the description as well as the location. So I'll go ahead and run this snippet. So I'll go ahead and run this command. And then if we use a get 80 computer and specify those properties using the properties parameter, we can see that yeah, the description and the location both are now set. And there are times when you have to set properties that set80 computer doesn't have parameters for. And to do that, we use the set80 computer, the instance parameter. So here I'll walk you through that. So I'm using get80 computer to get that summit computer again, and I'm specifying the property I want to set. So in this case, protected from accidental deletion. So go ahead and run this line. So I'm assigning that to the comp variable. And then here on line 101, I'm setting that property of that variable to be false. And then a line 102, I'm using that set 80 computer, the instance parameter. So that sets that object with all of its properties into Active Directory. So if I run this line 102, and then look at that property using the get 80 computer commandlet and specifying that property with the properties parameter, you can see that protected from accidental deletion is false. And the last thing we'll go over is removing computers from Active Directory. It's just really easy. It's remove 80 computer and give it the identity of the computer you want them to remove. So if I go ahead and run this line, you'll notice that it prompts me, and that's because it's going to be deleting the computer from Active Directory. And prompting is, you know, best practice. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes here. So then if we want to remove multiple computers, we can do that by piping the output of get 80 computer to remove 80 computer. So here, I'm setting a date time for 20 minutes ago, line 114. And on line 115, I'm using get 80 computer to return all computers that were created in the last 20 minutes. So you can see my filter there created is greater than 20 minutes ago. So if I just run this command, you can see that I've only got the two computers that we created. It would have been three, but we just removed the other computer. And I'm gonna pipe that to remove 80 computer. I don't wanna be prompted for all two of them. Well, it's, I guess it's only two. Uh, but if you were removing a bunch of computers, you wouldn't want to be prompted for all, say, 100 of them. And so that's where you can use the confirm colon false. And that will skip the prompt, and so it'll just straight remove them. And so if I run this command, you can see it, I don't have any output, no errors. So then if we run line 115 again, you can see that there are no longer any computers that we created in the last 20 minutes. So that's how you manage computers in Active Directory using my favorite tool, PowerShell.